Hey guys, this is Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another traditional piece, again with the watercolors, and it's somewhat similar to my leftover watercolor challenge, but it's more focused on the colors instead of just using what's on the palette. So this time, yeah, it's like a continuation. I did something similar to this like a few weeks back, and I call it I call it the Monochroma One. So this would be Monochroma Two. And this time I wanted to go with a more fiery, uh, active color. Well, mainly because that's the color left in my palette, but also I wanted to do something bright and energetic once again. So this time I'm using the Fabriano Artistical 300 GSM paper. Uh, as you can see, it's a small card. and. I'm also using the SH Fig Arts Body Chan figurine for the posing. Uh, I bought these two. Well, if you saw my art haul, I would have mentioned there when I got them and when, what I got them for. So the Fabriano paper, I got them for my birthday. Uh, it was a birthday present for my parents. Uh, the SH Fig Arts Body Kun and Body Chan were the fruits of my labor as a working lady. <laughs> But yeah, I have a job now, which is a full-time graphic designer for a certain company here in the Philippines. And the first, like this is the second thing I bought with that money, which is my, which is this, the SH Figure Arts Body Kun and Body Chan. So you'll see Body Chan pop in every now and then when I want to see the angle or change the angle a bit of how I want this pose to turn out. Otherwise, she's perched on my... Um, needable eraser over there. So you don't really need any of these fancy things. I mean, the paper is fancy, but only because I wanted to try it out. It's hot pressed, so it's really smooth. And I tried it out once in college. Like there was a freebie, there was this workshop, and there was this freebie, and you had free hot pressed paper by Fabriano. It was like. I want more of this. So, a year later, when I finally got my birthday gift, I asked for this, the paper. You don't really need this, it's just I want to try out new things. And you don't really need the SH Figure Arts Body Chan either. You could just use a normal wooden doll. It's just my preference that I would like to see things in a somewhat, though it's a more anime style, in a somewhat realistic view. And I would like to be able to twist and turn the model to my to, to my wants. Uh, you could use photographs, I mean, that's enough. But I just like seeing things in flesh, or in plastic in this case. And I mean, I am a working person after all, and art is one of my very few hobbies. I mean, it's the only hobby I actually have. I, 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 I play games for sure, but... This has been the hobby that is my true outlet for anything and everything. Uh, it's my stress relief, it's my creative outlet, it's the thing I do when I'm bored. So me spending things for my art is normal and if you have a job, if you want to spend stuff for your art, then go ahead. I mean, I'm a bit of an art nerd so art materials specifically. I, I love seeing materials and I sometimes would go into a bookstore and just bathe in the presence of art materials even though I can't afford half of them. <laughs> but I do now since I have a job. So if you're young and you're watching this, I'm 23 right now, so if you're younger than me and you feel like compelled or you think that you need these materials, you really don't. They're just for fun and I just like spending stuff on art materials. <laughs> I'll be broke. So my only regret for this particular piece is that I, because the original concept was that I wanted to do something in pencil and then paint on top of the pencil of sorts. So my pencil is my line art, but I'm not really used to doing that. I'm used to doing line art with a pen, so they turn out very messy. And I did cover it up somewhat with the colored pencils, but I still feel like it turned to be quite messy and they want it to be a lot more smoother and more refined I guess. 
So that's my only regret for this particular, particular piece. So I did actually finish all the paint on my palette, which is yay! After four paintings, I finally used up and cleaned up my palette. And the pencils, the pencils that I'm using are the Faber-Castell Polychromos, which I got as my graduation gift from university. And I love them so much. Once again, you don't need them. You can just use your normal Faber-Castell Classics if you wish, or any other brand. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, I just wanted them because, hey, they're beautiful, they work well, and I wanted something fancy for my graduation gift, so this is what I asked for. Like a lot of my batchmates and my friends, they would go, like, they would get a car, or they would go abroad and, you know, go to Japan or something for their graduation gift. I just ask for pencils. <laughs> And they make me so happy. They're expensive, but they make me so happy. Uh, and this is also something I wanted to try out. That I see a lot of YouTubers here. Like the art YouTubers do here. They would paint in whatever medium they want. Usually watercolor or their Copics. And they would take colored pencils and use that as sort of the thing to create depth instead of just going pure paint and I usually rely on pure paint because that's what I learned in university but this was also a technique that I found to be very interesting. I was worried about the texture it would produce but it still integrated pretty nice. My only mistake with the colored pencils was that I overwhelmed the hair with the colored pencils so the paint didn't turn out as much, even though it was already pretty faint since I didn't have much paint left. But next time I guess, less colored pencil, especially since I don't have the limitation of lack of paint anymore. But still, it was nice to try it out, it's nice to see how it works out. The layering is fantastic, like, with the normal classics, I, need, I would need to rub the pigment on the paper with some cotton buds just to remove the wax but since the polychromos are oil based you really don't have that problem immediately I haven't really reached the limit with the polychromos yet since I just bought them but I'll keep playing with them and you'll see every step of my learning process and experimenting process as well I like how this turned out it feels like the colors are very energetic and active but the pose and the way the hair flows feels very lethargic and sad to some extent. I don't really know why she's sad. I'm, I'm not sad at all. <laughs> I tend not to draw with my emotions. I sometimes do but they don't really reflect what I feel. We're nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you like more content like this, feel free to like or subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do a lot of watercolor. I do a good amount of digital works. I do character designs, fan art, uh, sometimes oil painting, sometimes whatever, whatever medium comes across my path. I like to experiment and I'm still learning as an artist. So if you want to join me on my journey to become better at my stuff, my hobby, uh, please feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate seeing people interact with me. I mean, uh, since I have like 19 subscribers, I don't really interact with a lot of people, but it would make me happy to talk with people about art and stuff like that. So, we'll be jumping to the, into the preview now, but uh, feel free to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and Event Art as well. I post my whips and my art there, so if you want to check those out, feel free to head on over there and I'll see you around.